Cologne. It's the 30th of November 2004, close to Christmas time. There are many different people working on this project that are connected to Cologne. It's a kind of center for what we are doing. We are in a big venue called Haus der Bühnen der Stadt Köln. It's a studio complex built by the WDR radio for symphonic recordings and broadcasting of symphonic concerts. This building features a lot of different rooms and areas we use for the production. So we have a big, nice wooden concert hall where we shoot the video and where we do some string ensemble recordings. We have um, a kind of digital studio set up in the first floor where Mr. Lee can sing in a comfortable way together with Fabio. And outside we have a huge mobile recording truck. We will use only some parts of our truck uh, because he has 96 inputs for uh, multi-track and uh, also for stereo and 5.1 mixing. I think they want to get a sound uh, very epic and very great and uh, big. So we use a 5.1 microphone array and some single microphones and record them also on the multi-track. Last time we worked with Christopher Lee it was in London uh, at Christmas time and uh, he was doing narration for the Rhapsody album. We just talked with him about uh, narration and then he started to, to talk about uh, singing. Because he likes operas and classical music, he likes to sing and uh, one of his biggest dreams was to perform and to sing, you know, in, in a song. I was never actually trained for my voice, never. I was born with it, you might say. I think that uh, having before a narrator like Christopher Lee and then a singer, you know, with his particular voice, I think it's fantastic, it's the perfect complement to transmit more emotion to our music. The interesting thing for me is that, of course, I've never done this before in my life. It's a whole new world to me. Although I can sing, and I've always been able to, this is like being on another planet, because I've never sung with a group of this kind. I know it is my fate, bound to aliens hold till I'll be always there, fighting the ancient I can never say, fighting! Oh. Fighting! Yeah, but different. that sounds it's great. Covered, you see. But the second one sounds great. It, it should well, be powerful. We'll it's a heavy way. metal band. For this song, we decided to give uh, the production to Joy. He's a very professional producer and very professional musician. He knows what he's doing, you know. He's really um, much into detail as we are. Joey's been around, as they say. He's probably the most experienced experienced producer in the music business. Uh, this song, The Magic of the Wizard's Dream, is really important because it represents really the basic point of the concept that I created for this uh, new saga. This wizard that is the main character of this saga, Iras Algor from Horlad, and uh, his dream is really to see finally a long period uh, of uh, peace. I've got to try and adapt my voice and my singing, not to their voices, but to the meaning of the song. The video for this song, The Magic of the Wizard's Dream, um, will be done in a kind of, you know, very live and symphonic way, showing a big orchestra. My personal vision for this is to create something that's, I guess, integrating a lot of the, uh, the, the cinematic feel of Rhapsody. The difference between this and Unholy War Cry is that Unholy War Cry is more of a concept video. It was shot on location in Prague with a large castle. This one, uh, I, I guess it's not telling the story so much, it's really just showing how the music is being performed and the emotion behind the music. We're shooting with uh, the latest cameras, which are high def, which is for those who don't know, that's high definition. Um, similar to the uh, state-of-the-art cameras they use in such projects as um, Star Wars. We could technically blow this up onto a large cinema screen and it would look just as good as 35mm, sometimes better. It's such a big undertaking to film an orchestra and uh, my original idea was to stick the orchestra on a mountaintop but uh, helicoptering in 50 people with, with their instruments onto uh, one of the Austrian Alps wouldn't work so instead we shot some footage uh, separately on the Austrian Alps 
and decided to you know, film the whole thing in this concert hall. This is a Felix camera dolly. It's uh, precision designed by German engineering to give the perfectly smooth sort of motion. It's very good for motion picture film because it's, uh, it's very, very steady. The slightest bump in this will show on the camera, so it has to be perfect. The approach to the clip is uh, much in a way that you would approach a large budget film with a, a grand epic scale and uh, uh, sweeping themes of uh, fantasy and everything's sort of bigger and larger. Not there, that was really good. Wonderful. With this type of song, I think it's important to see all the, uh, the instruments being played and their performances rather than um, fool people with you know, you know, special effects and trickery, uh, we decided to really show the real music as it's been performed. The first part of the song, you know, when we've got the, um, yeah, the verses and all that, we wanted to sort of shoot in this angle, but the low angle, so we're sort of shooting up a little bit and trying to get as much of this in as possible because it's just kind of interesting. It'd be nice to actually, you know, if we do the, the, do the low angle sort of dolly shots around here, it'll be like a, a semicircle. We see a lot of this. Um, Maybe we put them up on a little podium, perhaps, mm. I was thinking, because it might help the, the higher they are, closer they are to that, the better. So the rest of the time, somewhere else, we can set up a blue screen, which will be extra, I know, a little bit of extra lighting, and then we just turn that off, and when we move across there, we can do blue screen elements as well, in between takes or whatever's happening. We can move the camera from one place to another place over there, stick it on the tripod, and immediately start there, our blue screen elements of the same things. Mm -hmm. And then all the forest will be shot from the back there showing this way and what I want to do is put the band so we have like you know a lot of the orchestra the back maybe the choir it's the orchestra the band in the middle and then more of the orchestra here so you've got like orchestra You're filming from here yes so we shoot through the orchestra to see the band I love backlight for me backlight is everything mm -hmm. and side light is everything so um, I hate harsh, you know, foreground light, soft keys, strong backlight, and it's always uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't like soft, flat, overlit. Yeah, yeah. I like, you know, bright and dark spots. Yeah, perfect. If possible. We will shoot this video with a full production team here. I think with 35 people. Uh, we'll have dolly tracks. Uh, we'll be having a crane. For the first time, uh, we really uh, perform uh, in the middle you know, of an orchestra. I get the feeling we are playing something live. You know, this is, I think, is, is going to be captured in the in the film, you know, in the clip. To do a video clip and to sing and to have orchestra behind, oh, it's something magical, something one incredible sensation, really. I never had in my life, and uh, I really wanted to have in the future again. Working with Rhapsody is really an honour. I've been very good friends with them for many years. They have a very strong vision about what they're doing. The whole saga is, is, is an amazing picture. And uh, all I'm doing is, is trying to fill in, you know, some of the, uh, the areas visually. I think this is a new testament of love of me, Alex and Fabio to the fans. They are so dedicated to what they do, to their music, and they are addicted that music as well. The Rhapsody world is a big world, musically and artistically and lyrically, you know, and we believe there are a lot of people that would enjoy our music in the world. I really think that uh, there is different kind of bands. One kind of band, the fans usually they follow the music, that's it. They don't care about the other things around, you know. And this is not the case of Rhapsody. There are many, many things interesting for our fans, you know, and it's something more. It's not just a song that you hear and you sing one time in your life and that's it. This is a band that remains in your mind for the songs, for the style, for the saga, for the kind of merchandising, for, for everything. It's a very exciting experience. They're all wonderful people I'm working with and I'm sure this will be phenomenal for heavy metal. For the 